As Sandy was making a bead for the eastern seaboard, Red Cross staff and volunteers were busy preparing for the storm. In Chester County, Pennsylvania, just south of Philadelphia, shelter manager Denise Graff was supervising the setup of a 250-cot shelter at a local school. Um, some of us had friends and family that came in. We always drag them if we can. Um, we did have Boy Scouts of America that came. Um, we had a couple church groups that came in as well, and then just people that heard that we needed assistance. So the biggest time where we need people to come in and help us is when we're setting up 250 cots. Look around, some of them are oversized, There's that. Which, which is nice. It gives you a little bit more. The shelter, one of many opened across the Delaware Valley, is a safe harbor for people seeking shelter from Sandy's historic force. Anybody who needs a place to stay, including pets, because we work with the county animal response team. They're set up on the other half of the school, and we take we take pets as well. So if people come with their pets, their pets would stay in the pet shelter and they would stay in the people shelter. They'll have a warm place to stay. We'll put, you know, we'll give them blankets and cod's place to sleep, food to eat. We have nurses here for them. We have mental health volunteers in case they need someone to talk to. So it's basically a safe haven for them if they're in a situation that they can't stay in their home. Meanwhile, a few miles away, Red Crossers were manning phone banks at NBC10 in Philly, taking calls from viewers as part of a special effort by the station to keep its audience informed and prepared. You know, we've had several brainstorming sessions uh, since this beast started heading our way, and um, this is something the station has done before. In, in storms like this, in major events, this is what it's all about for us. This is why we exist. It's to serve the public. There is a reason why we get our license from the FCC, and it's to come through for people in times when they're in need, and we take it very seriously. Do you say that you're close to, close to river, close to water there? Good evening. Thank you for calling Channel 10. Station President Eric Lerner says teaming up with the Red Cross was an easy call. Well, the Red Cross is just a great organization. They know what they're doing. They're always there for us. They understand how to deal with the public. And whenever there's an emergency, the Red Cross is there. So they were a natural choice to call.